Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach about the third. Okay, the the third actually, I think is is somehow the the meaning of the third is actually like it it will be same with the something like square root. Alright, square root. Alright. However, in IGCSE MF, they call it third. So before I start to like teach about this question, this is one of the IGCSE past year question. I is not mistaken, this is six mark question. So I just want to like teach you some basic about the the third phrase. So for for example, for example, okay, if third five multiple third five, okay, you 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 need to understand this one. You will get third five square, third five square, which will give you square and square root. You will actually simplify your left five, alright. However, if I have two third five multiple two third five, so what I will have is two have to multiple with two first, then third five will multiple with third five. So two times two multiply two, I will get four. Third five multiple third five, I will get five. Then end up I will get twenty. Right, this is this is something like quite important about third. So I just hope you, you basically you will you will understand about this, the third thing because uh, later when I do this question, actually I will explain uh I will expand all this like quite fast. So I hope you at least you get it. So and then like two uh fundamental formula in this chapter is 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 something like a plus b square. Of course you. Most of the student actually will, will do some something like a plus b multiple a plus b and then they like multiple one by one. However, over here I actually I hope you you can remember this one because I want you to do faster, which is a square plus two a b plus b square. Okay, this is one of the very important formula in this chapter. Another one is called rationalized process. Rationalized. Okay, it means is it something to do with the denominator? Denominator. Denominator means means the bottom of the fraction. Okay, so something like a over the de de denominator lah is this one is called denominator, right? So rationalize basically, what they do is, whenever when you see a plus b, you just remember, you just mu multiple. A minus B, okay. Because what? Because you you want to get A square minus B square. <laughs> because, uh, for for third right, the only way you can like, you 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 can map you can make the third symbol gone is using this method. Alright, so same thing. If you have A minus B here, uh, if you have A minus B at your uh, denominator. So what you will do over here is you will multiply a plus b, because you want to get rid of the square root symbol. Then only you will get a square minus b square. Alright. So yeah, this is something very common, but it's quite important, especially uh, the second part. Okay, you will need to understand all this. Okay, then I will go into the this question. Alright. So. Okay, so uh, just let me erase all this. Alright, so let's start about this question. Okay, the question says without using a calculator, find the positive root of uh positive root of the equation. Okay, so you have this equation. Okay, five minus two sub two x square minus four plus two sub two x minus two equals zero. Giving your answer in the form of a plus b sub two, where a and b are integer, mean a and b cannot be decimal or fraction. It must be integer, right? So first, you must be able to recognize this equation, because what is this? If you recognize this equation, you you know basically it is the quadratic equation. Quadratic equation is something like a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero. So so if you understand this quadratic equation, obviously you you will know this one will be a, and the whole thing, the coefficient of x over here will be, and the constant value here here will be c. 
Alright, this is something quite important. However, if this is quadratic equation, how to solve the quadratic equation? Okay, so normally we'll do we only have few ways to actually solve the quadratic equation. First is by using the factorize. If the you can you can easily factorize the equation. The second you actually can do the completing the square. Completing the square means you uh something like factorize also. Or the last one is you using the formula x equals to negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Alright, so in this case, in order to solve the quadratic equation, obviously this one in the square in the third form I cannot factorize, so I won't choose the first one. I won't choose the first one. And in this question, the question doesn't ask me to sketch a graph to or find a maximum or minimum. So I won't do completing the square also. So I so I do the last one. So I use this one to actually solve this one. Alright, and, and for this formula, you will realize that you have positive and negative over here. But however, this question only want the positive root. So I, I will ignore the negative symbol here. Okay, so I so later when you see I apply, I will only apply the positive because the question want positive root only. Alright, unless the question didn't say, then you must always do the positive negative. Alright, so... Okay, so b before we start, so let me label what is my a first. My a is 5 minus 2 third 2. Alright, my b will be uh, negative 4 plus 2 third 2. Okay, I, I will leave the negative outside. Okay, la later I will explain why. And my c will be negative 2. Alright, then, okay, then I will erase. Uh, never mind. So then, then I will write I will write down the formula here. So in order to solve it, so I will say x basically equals to negative b. You see negative b, negative b, my b is negative. Do you see negative here? So negative negative will actually give me the positive. So then I, I just write everything. Negative bracket negative 4 plus 2 third 2. Alright, then I close bracket. Alright. Plus minus, correct now plus minus, but I will write plus only. Square root. Okay, this square root is going, going to be very big. Okay, b square. B square is the whole thing square. So because this is square, so actually I can ignore the negative lah. Because ne square you will get always positive. So we just write like this. Square. Minus 4. A is just 5 minus 2 sub 2. C. C is negative 2. Okay, divided by 2a, 2 multiple 5 minus 2 third 2. Alright, this is how I uh, solve this kind of question. So, okay, so the first first thing I will do over here is, okay, just let me scroll down a bit. Okay, the negative and negative, I, I will join them, become positive. So this one over here is 4 plus 2 third 2. Nothing special here. Then plus, then of course I will need to solve the square root thing. Then I will expand uh, 4 plus 2 third 2. Alright, so if this is 4 plus 2 third 2 square. So if I expand this one, 4 square will actually give me 16. And then the middle one is 2 multiple first term, multiple second term. 2 mul multiple 4 is 8. 8 times 2 third 2 will be 16 third 2. Alright, the last one is 2 third 2 square. So you just imagine 2 third 2 square. What you have, you have 4 times 2, which is 8. Alright, I hope you at least you understand what happened here. So this is 24 plus 16 third 2. Because 16 and 8, you can you can sum them up. Also, right, so this one will, will give me 24 plus 16 third 2. Alright, I have negative 4 here, multiple with negative 2. Obviously, it's positive 8. So, positive 8 over here, multiple 5, I will get positive 8, 5 is 40. Correct or not? 8 multiple 5. Yeah, it's 40. And then, po eight, positive 8 multiple negative 2, third 2, I will get negative 16, third 2. Alright, so I just like multiply it quickly. And the bottom here, may, maybe, yeah, I can multiply also 10 minus 4, two. Alright, then I will try to simplify it. Okay, positive 16 sub 2 minus 16 sub 2 is gone. 
and then 40 plus 24 you will get 68 all right so the inside here later you will get 60 uh 64 i mean why 68 i mean 64 all right so square root 64 definitely you know you will get 8 isn't it so i will simplify it like this so equals to 4 plus 2 sub 2 plus this is square root 64 which is 8 over 10 minus 4 sub 2 all right so 4 and 8 you can multiple this is i mean you can plus them together this is 12 plus 2 sub 2 over 10 minus uh 4 10 minus 4 sub 2 Right. However, the question asks you to live in the form of a plus b sub two. So definitely, b a plus b sub two. Oh, uh, okay. This one is not the fraction form. So that's why just now I mentioned about rationalize, right? So always for rationalize, always focus on the denominator. Okay. This is ten minus four sub two, just something like a minus b. So what I will do is I will multiply a plus b. All right for both la definitely a plus b all right so yeah of course you are multiple just now i say if a minus b time a plus b what we will get we will get a square minus b square isn't it so therefore what we will get over here will be a square which is 10 square okay minus b square which is 4 sub 2 square is 16 times 2 which is 32 all right so yeah the top i have to multiply one by one lah. so 12 multiple 10 is 120 12 multiple 4 sub 2 is plus 48 sub 2 and then 2 sub 2 multiple 10 is 20 sub 2 and 2 sub 2 multiple 4 sub 2 is 4 multiple 2 is 8 sub 2 is 60 all right, then I will do the one last, I think two more step. 12, uh, 120 plus 16 is 136. This one will be plus 68, so two. And 10 square is 100, 100 minus 32, which is 68. All right, then definitely I can use, I, I can simplify, right? 68, I when I simplify, I must make sure I cut both. Okay, if you couldn't see that, uh, maybe I factorize this out first. 68 bracket 2 plus sub 2 over 68. Alright, because normally if I do it myself, for this kind of question, I will share a cut, cut left 2, cut left 1, something like this. Alright, but then if you couldn't see it th that way, because some students, they just cut one of it, then you will got wrong. Because whenever you have plus or minus, on the middle here, you cannot like simplify cut one of it. If you want to cut, you just make sure you cut everything on the numerator. Or if you just not so sure, just factorize out and then simplify lah. So your final answer will be two plus so two. That's all. Alright. Of course, the question asks you live in something like a plus b sub two correct? Nah? In this case, the b is just one. There's nothing in front of the third two, it just means one. So the answer is just two plus third two. Right. This is this is six mark question. So for this kind of questions, yeah, of course. Uh first thing is you you have to un you have to know how to find the positive root. And what's the meaning for root? Root itself always means the answer of x. Answer of x. That's mean the question uh, the question basically asks you to find what is the values of x. Alright, so and then you will you will need to know if this is quadratic form and quadratic form you only have few methods actually for you to find the answer of x. Okay, and then of course at the end you must know you, you need to choose this formula and then you, you will need to ignore the negative because of the words positive root. Alright, then yeah, then of course the you will need to know how to expand the, the square root and then until this step you must know you must apply the rationalized methods okay a plus b multiple a minus b the purpose of this one is make sure your d denominator denominator over here have no square root anymore all right you can try to multiply any other thing 
you will always get the square root at the denominator because this is the only way to actually get rid of square root when you have plus or minus uh, on on your denominator. Alright. Anyways, if you have question, you can post the. Uh, you can post a comment on my Facebook or on my YouTube. If you like this video, you can share up. You can share this video out or give me a thumb up. Alright. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye bye.